Okay, before we get into sort of proper animation and whatnot, it's worth explaining this pretty cool but easy feature of MovieZoo called Cue Points. I'll go over to MovieZoo, which is running in the background here. Now, Cue Points um, is something that you'll find whenever the recorder or the timeline comes up. So let's go ahead, let's go to timeline. Okay. This little icon here, this little button here with the diamond in it, that's a cue point, and you can see that it, the tooltip that comes up is toggle cue point. I'll just pull the start and end markers out here to see what we're doing. Now, a cue point lets you label the timeline um, at a point in time. Okay, so the way that you insert them is either when you're playing back and previewing your animation, you can go, okay, give me a cue point there, give me one there. You can also use the insert button on your keyboard. Um, you can also scrub to any point in time and hit cue point. Once a cue point's placed, it can be moved around like that. And you might ask, what are these things for? Well, they're basically just markers. So whenever you've got something happening and you're seeing um, like a camera cut or a sound effect, because MovieZoo works in passes, and when you're directing the character's eyes, you might want to look at an explosion, but that explosion sound effect tract won't be visible when you're directing the eyes. So, but what will be visible are the little cue points on the master track. So you can use these little things and place them down when you want to, um, when you want to highlight a part of your timeline when something happens, something that you want to react to. You can slide them around like that. If you right-click on them, you get the edit cue point feature comes up where you can delete them or you can very accurately place them on the timeline. So if I wanted to put that to um, exactly 0 to seconds then I can do that and it pops exactly at 2 seconds. And in a nutshell it's quite a small tutorial but they're quite important and you'll see that when we come to the advanced dialogue tutorial how important and how useful cue points can be.